Hey everyone, this is Steve Miller with Entering Into Space. <laughs> God, uh, let's see if I can get through this for the 16th time. Uh, because I really want to do a video about cable management and how I've never done it before until I was inspired when I purchased the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. And I decided, you know, now I think I'm gonna to try to tidy everything up. And so I'm gonna do a quick little rundown of my gear and how I've plugged this up and how I've routed all the cables and what cables I've actually used and what cables I didn't. Um, hope you enjoy it and I'll be right back. Stop it. Okay, so what I did was I actually purchased the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box and mainly because I've never owned uh, dew heaters, dew bands. These are some Astro Zap. Uh, this is a three inch and this is a four inch. They fit pretty good. Actually, there's room to spare. Um, so I wanted to run those and then I thought, well, you know, I also would like to power my DSLR because I don't use a battery. You can tell here. I actually have this uh, cable and this is like in the shape of the DSLR battery. It's pretty cool. Fits in there and then there's room for the cable that feeds down to this uh, AC adapter. Which then the power cord runs in here and runs to my power strip. So that means no more charging batteries or dead batteries in the middle of the night. Um, but the Power box has an 8 volt, ooh, I can't even point, uh, DSLR output, which is great. But guess what? It didn't come with. It came with a lot of cables, but it does not come with a cable that goes from the power box to the DSLR. So that's something to note if you're wanting to do the same thing. Um, but this particular one has a temperature sensor, which plugs in here around and what I did is I ran it around I put it on some sticky velcro put it right up on front of the Lowe's Mandy bar but the other cool thing that it eliminated was my Orion mount was uh, powered with AC power it came with a plug which was plugged into the power strip that I have attached down there um, but actually uh, we have four 12 volt outsource power and this cable did come with the packet power box, which is fished through and plugged into the DC 12 volt input <clears throat> and does work. So my mount has power. Um, this bottom cable is the 12 volt DC in. And so I went ahead and uh, because I do most of my astro imaging here in the backyard, I have uh, AC power. So I went ahead and bought this gigantic, let's see if I can get here and show it, power adapter, especially for the pocket power box. So I've got the cord wrapped around and plugged in. And then the power feeds up and I've got these cool little uh, sticky back clips that work really great. We're just kind of keeping things tucked in out of the way and you can pull them so this cord runs back up here and it is uh, velcroed together to the power into the box and then these are the two RC jacks for the two dew heater bands and then which is really cool what I did on the Lowe's Mandy bar when I did cut it down is it was for a 10 inch SET <coughs> maybe too dark was I cut it down, trimmed it up, and I put a piece of, you know, they see it because it's black, a piece of three by quarter angle in here. It's bolted on. And on the back side of that, I have my USB hub mounted. And I still have a port in case I want to download some pictures. So the, the, uh, the control cable that eventually will plug into my computer I don't have that here. We'll control the power box 
it controls the <coughs> you've got a cable that comes over here it runs around is laced here it runs to the dslr and then the third usb cable fishes around it almost looks like a phone cord i've got a velcro here on my guide scope and it goes over here to my zwo asi 120 mc and look at that look at that hole you know what that hole is it used to be where the st4 cable is was not anymore bye bye so the other cool thing about this scope is i only have to have one counterweight and it uh i can actually pick the whole mount up now with the scope mounted and take it outside without the counterweight on uh, but everything moves relatively well I don't have anything that really catches uh, but I haven't really tested this field tested this yet but for right now because we've got probably can't see it really crappy weather I suppose to get better this weekend but yeah just one everything functions everything moves everything flows pretty good uh, nothing gets tangled up. So this is uh, officially a hot mess of cables, but it's not too bad. I did pretty good. Uh, the pocket power box has just uh, got some double-sided Velcro. I could peel it off if I wanted to, uh, but it's working pretty good. And what else do I have going on? <coughs> I think that's pretty much it. Oh, one other thing, if you did see my previous videos, I had the uh, SynScan Wi-Fi adapter plugged into the end of this cable. And I have since removed it. I removed it because it works really good. It works good on the phone. But one of the problems I was having was the Windows application for this was very unstable and it would crash a lot. So I've put the hand controller back on, but I'm not really even using it because I'll show you in another video that I'm going to do, but I actually have a cable that comes out of this jack, which is like a printer cable. Um, this one here, my pinky fingers cover, goes to the computer and I'm using ASCOM and EQ mod to fully control and guide my scope now. So much better, more stable system. Oh, and if you don't think I'm not redneck, this would be a 3-8 deep well socket with some duct tape shoved on this little tiny little knob for adjusting your uh, altitude during uh, polar alignment. Sucks. So now I have a little more leverage. Yep, that's how we roll right there. So anyway, I think that pretty much uh, covers what I've done to the scope. Just kind of pan around. I've cleaned it up. I had a lot of stuff velcroed on here. It's all, I tried to move everything up to here in case I do want to uh, actually take the OTA off. If I decide to, the only thing that I've got to unplug is the actually battery cable or the power cable. And I've got to unplug the uh, power to the pocket power box. Other than that, um, it'll come right off. So I'm pretty happy. I'm excited. Can't wait for some clear weather. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, the video that I did. <laughs> God. It is so freaking hard to be natural. <laughs> it's like when you hit record, I'm like, oh, stupid. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video on how I've managed to run everything. Manage, it sounds like I wasn't going to be able to, but then I just barely by the skin of my teeth got these cables whipped into shape. <laughs> and how I got them all put together and off the ground and untangled 
and run into the new Pegasus Astro Power Box and hooked up the new three and four inch dew heater strips, strips, bands, I don't know what you call them. And got everything pretty well tidied up. Pretty proud of it for my first attempt. So stay tuned, clear skies, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.